Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 release for the main release, which is the build 22,000.469. It came out yesterday and uh, now I installed it. In this video, we're going to talk about briefly about what is new and what you can expect if you are updating or installing this new Windows 11 update that you will receive on the main release. For those of you who don't know, this is the C release of the month. So basically, this update contains all the changes and improvements and also fixes from the beta and release channel preview update that was released two weeks ago but it also contains a few additional fixes and improvements the thing is that not everyone will receive this update because this is only tested by some windows 11 users but if you don't have it make sure to wait until the b release of the next month so basically on the second tuesday of february you should get this update as well so now let's talk about some changes and improvements First of all, Microsoft updated an issue that causes the audio service to stop responding on some devices that support hardware accelerated Bluetooth audio. Also regarding the taskbar, Microsoft updated an issue that affects icons for apps when the apps are not running. On the taskbar, these icons might display as active as if the apps are running. So this is now fixed and that's good news. We also have now the your Microsoft account page and settings on the main release, of course. So if we go into to the settings app and then into accounts we should have this new your microsoft account page that was talked about a few months ago and now we finally have it on the main release for those of you who don't know this is a page where you can see more info about your microsoft account with a few quick links so quick access that you can click on and you will be redirected to the microsoft website microsoft also fixed an issue that incorrectly shows the volume icon in the taskbar as muted and also they fixed an issue that causes a device to stop working when it's connected to multiple monitors. An issue that affects the auto hide feature of the taskbar was also fixed. The taskbar might not reliably appear when you hover over the primary or secondary display, of course, while you have automatically hide the taskbar enabled. And now this should be fixed. Also an issue that might prevent icons from appearing on the taskbar of a secondary display was fixed. And they also improved the auto brightness to provide a better response under low light conditions on all the supported systems. And also the known issue that might prevent some image editing programs from rendering colors correctly on a certain high dynamic range HDR displays was fixed. This frequently affects white colors that might display in bright yellow or other colors. I think these are the highlights of this update. Of course, we have a whole bunch of other fixes, but you'll have the whole list in the article down below in the description. And you can see there if your issue or problem that you faced was fixed. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about this new update and of course if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was emmanuel from tech based until next time have a nice day